Uh, hello everybody, my name is Al DePaulo and I'm the Partner Products Manager and today I just wanted to do a quick review on some of the new simulation options that we have in the version 25. If you're a version 25 customer, now you get advanced simulation as a standard and there's a bunch of really nice tools that I want to review with you very quickly. The first one that I want to talk about is the speed of your simulation. You can turn the speed of your simulation up and down. Uh, these viewing icons here can turn on or off the toolpath. Uh, show the tool or not show the tool, uh, hide your work piece, uh, hide your stock, and hide your initial stock. So these are all your different viewing options. Um, in addition to that, there's a number of different windows that we see over here on the right. And if, as you click on each one of the different tabs here, uh, you see different options. Uh, this cut sim uh, window here, this is the accuracy of the simulation. You can turn it up or turn it down. You also have your different uh, collision checking that you can turn on and off right here. The one that I really want to focus on, though, is right uh, let's see, it's this one right here, which is our statistics. And in our statistics window, this will give you all the information about the job that you're running, how long it's going to take to run, uh, total run time, distance traveled, uh, very good reporting tools. And you can use this information when you're quoting out jobs to give you an idea of how long it will take to run. Uh, Again, uh, there's other reporting tools. If, then, if there are any gouges or collisions, they'll show up in the reporting section. Uh, you have different operations where uh, you can check the deviation for leftover material or uh, which uh, different colors for the tools that you might be using. Um, uh, height changes, a variety of different tools that really help you get a much better idea of exactly what is going on in your uh, simulation. Now, one of the things that we have that's really nice is I have a number of different operations here. And if I want to skip forward to, let's say, the third op, I can click on that button there. And you'll see that it advances the simulation uh, for us. This way, you don't have to wait uh, for the simulation to process uh, from the beginning. The other thing that you'll see down here as well is a progress bar. And you can fast forward and rewind. And this works the same way, where you can uh, forward through your simulation. So uh, just a couple of tips and tricks for you that, for you guys there, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be really excited about the new simulation, just like I am.